click the bell icon to get latest videos from ikeda hello friends we are starting a new chapter that is nuclear chemistry so before understanding nuclear chemistry it is very much important for us to understand that an atom consists of electron proton and neutrons so since we are talking about the nuclear chemistry let us understand the nucleus of a particular atom so friends as we have discussed in the chapter structure of atom we have got to know that is the nucleus is the one which consists of proton as well as the neutron and also we have also discussed about that there are different types of isotopes of a particular element so here basically we are going to talk about the neutrons as well as the nucleus which consists of protons as well as neutrons so based on that here we are going to talk about nucleides and its classification but what is a nucleide we understand that is a particular element consists of different isotopes and this nucleons that is nothing but it is the sum of the protons and the neutrons that is basically present in the nucleus that is basically known as nucleide suppose if you are talking about a particular nucleus of a particular isotope that is known as a nucleide and based on that let us understand what are the different classification of the nucleides so talking about the different classification of the nucleides we have isotopes we have isobars isotones and mirror nuclei as well as and nuclear isomers so now let us first understand what are isotopes so here let me talk about the isotope first isotopes are nothing but the elements having the same atomic number but different atomic mass number suppose if we consider an example of the sodium 1123 it means sodium has an atomic number of 11 and it has an atomic mass number of 23 suppose if i am considering the another sodium which is nothing but the isotope of the sodium 1123 that is sodium 1122 in that case you will find out that the sodium both of the sodium they have the same atomic number that is 11 but they have different atomic mass number the one of which it has 23 and the other it has 22 which reminds that it has difference in the number of the neutrons so that's the reason that they are called to be that is isotopes so similarly let me talk about the another classification of the nucleides that is isobars so what are isobars isobars are nothing but the isotopes which have the same atomic mass number but different atomic number for example suppose if we consider carbon 6 which has an atomic mass of 14 and suppose if i am considering its isobar that is nitrogen having the atomic number 7 and atomic mass number as 14 so in this case you could find that is the both the isotopes are of different elements they have the same atomic mass number but they have different atomic number and since they have different atomic number that's the reason that the both the elements are different from each other but still they are called to be the isobars of each other why because the atomic mass number is the same the atomic mass number is same because of we understand that is the atomic mass is nothing but it is a sum of the number of proton and the number of neutron present in it so here we could find that is there is a difference in the number of proton but there is also a difference in the number of neutron so by doing a sum of the neutron as well as the sum of the proton we could get to know that is the both the elements have the same atomic mass number so this was the second classification and now let me talk about the next one that is isotones isotones is nothing but the two elements having the same number of neutron for example if we consider carbon 6 that is the carbon which is having an atomic number of 6 and atomic mass number of 13 and suppose if i am considering the another example that is nitrogen 7 that is nitrogen having an atomic number of 7 and the atomic mass is found to be 14 so here you can find that is the total number of neutron present in the carbon 6 having an atomic mass number of 13 you could find that is the total number of neutron is found to be 7 similarly the total number of neutron present in the nitrogen 7 having an atomic mass of 14 is also 7 so in this case 
the two elements have the same number of that is neutron that's the reason these two elements are being called as the isotones of each other so this was the third classification of the nuclide and now let me talk about the next one that is mirror nuclei so what is mirror nuclei suppose if we consider two elements and we could find that is the difference between the proton and the neutron or the neutron and the proton suppose if it is found to be one then those elements are called to be mirror nuclei for example if i consider carbon 6 that is a carbon having an atomic number of 6 and the atomic mass number it is found to be 30 and the other element suppose if i'm considering as helium which has an atomic number of 2 and atomic mass number of 3 suppose if i calculate the total number of protons in helium then i'll get to know that is the total number of proton in that case is 2 but the atomic mass number is 3 so therefore 3 minus 2 which is equals to 1 so this is one of the case and suppose if i am considering the another example which i have to that is carbon 6 having an atomic number of 13 so in that case i'll get to know that is the total number of proton present in this carbon is 6 and the total number of neutron in this case it is found to be 7 so therefore 7 minus 6 is again it's 1 which means that in both the cases the number of neutron the difference between the proton and neutron or neutron and proton is found to be one that's the reason these two elements are known to be mirror nuclei of each other so now let me talk about the last classification that is nuclear isomer so what is nuclear isomer actually we find that is there are certain elements which have the same atomic number same atomic mass number but they differ in such property that is known as energy suppose i am talking about cobalt having an atomic mass number of 60 but also there are availability of the cobalt which has tremendous energy for example cobalt 60 m in this case the m it stands for the meta which means it has a tremendous energy that could be utilized from this cobalt so in that case both the elements have the same atomic number same atomic mass number same number of neutrons but they differ in the energy and that's the reason the both the elements are known to be that is nuclear isomers of each other so this were all the classification related to the nuclei and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I'll see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.